What is going on, y'all? And welcome back to another episode of our Farming Simulator 22 Landowner RP. Now, if you didn't see the first episode, I'll catch you up real quick. So basically, what we did is we came out here to this absolutely gorgeous mountainous area. We found a piece of land, a couple of pieces of land, but the main piece of land that we wanted to put our sort of base of operations on, our house, if you, uh, if you will. And between then and now, basically what we've done is we've kind of had the main plot cleared out, and we've had some some gravel laid down for a temporary driveway that goes down to the edge of the road. Now, a couple of things that we need to do are we need to kind of get a little bit of a baseline set up. We need to get some equipment, we need to get a trailer, we need to get a mower, because some of this stuff needs to be cleared up, it needs to be kind of just, you know, um, mowed over, and then we also need to grab ourselves a chainsaw, and maybe eventually, like, a skid steer or a wood chipper or something like that, but we're not going to be able to grab any of those things until we head back to town, so let's go ahead and hop in the truck, head on over, the, over to the shop, and see what all we need to pick up. This thing sounds so good. It always has. Like, this particular truck has always been a really, really great sounding truck. Now, obviously, this is not my final driveway. We're going to do a lot more work on this driveway to make it something much, much, much more than what it is right now. But as we all know, the, uh, the traffic around here can be pretty gnarly. So, trying to avoid any interactions with the traffic that we possibly can. All right, so we're going to be chill on our drive down to town, and there's actually, the cool thing about this map and the, this area in general is that there's a lot of potential areas for going off-road, so you just, what, whoa, guy, I saw nothing, I, nope, I saw absolutely nothing, yo, the train is headed through too, oh, that's awesome, that's so sick, I love that. Yo, I absolutely freaking love that. I always forget that there's a train around here, but I mean, I, I, I took it into consideration when I moved out here and then decided to buy the piece of land and everything, but I didn't really think about it too much. Although we may need to stop also at the grocery store at some point for some supplies, but don't worry about that. First things first, we got to get back down to the shop and buy a trailer that we can haul our equipment on. I am so sorry, my dude. I, you know what? You know what? He wasn't in my lane yet. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, let's go and make a quick left. I feel like some people would just go down and go around the roundabout and come back, but we're going to go ahead and make a quick left, and we're going to park, and then we'll see what we can get our hands on. So, let's park over by the fence, just kind of out of the way. And almost there. And boom! There we go. Alright, let's see. Well, without doing that, thank you. Please and thank you. Alright. So now, let's head on into the shop, and first thing that we need to buy is a trailer, because without a trailer, we're not getting any of that stuff back to the land. So let's see. Trailers? And we're gonna go down to, I believe, either miscellaneous or low loaders is usually where, like, general flatbed trailers will be. So let's see. We've got a kind of a 20-foot gooseneck, kind of a standard setup. We've got this PJ Trailers 24-foot and a flat deck 40 foot. We've also got a, a pull behind right here, which actually might be really, really practical and especially like a good one to start out with. So extended rails or standard design. I'm not really going to need the extended rails. And I think that that would probably just make it a little bit more complicated anyway. And I know that while I'm down here, I need to pick up a mower as well. So we can kind of like get rid of a little bit of the underbrush before we start taking down trees. Found it. The mower was under the, you'll never guess, mowers category. Sometimes I have moments, and I feel like we all have those moments, but I have them every so often for sure. Let's go ahead and grab one of these brush cutters as well. That way we'll have it as, like, so we can use, you know, so we can use it in some tighter areas just in case we need to. We're going to go ahead and we'll do Husqvarna Orange. That'll work. All right, let's go ahead and buy it. And then you can fetch your purchase at the shop. I'll just throw that in the bed of the truck, probably. And then this guy right here, the zero-turn mower. So let's see, the mow it engine, the mow it tuned engine. I'm guessing I'll go with the tune? Um, let's see. Whoa, whoa, okay. You can get this thing with tracks? I don't know if we need it with tracks, but that's pretty gnarly that you can get it with tracks. Um, we've got a couple of different tire options that we could go with. You can dually this thing if you're a maniac. Uh, let's see. Yo, you can do that with every single... You can get it with spikes? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. 
Dude, that is, that is nuts. That is absolutely gnarly. You can do front lighting, roll bar light. Bro, holy crap, that's nuts. All right, let's throw the roll bar up there. I definitely want that up there. And then you can have it with underglow as well, if you would like. Yo, freaking Need for Speed Underground 2 on your lawnmower. That is great. Design color, I'm assuming that's going to be the seats. What if we do like a deep blue? Oh, that looks so much better. That looks so much better. At least I think that looks so much better. And then wheel color, let's see. Maybe like a dark gray on the wheels. Eh, that's That doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to look. Uh, what about what about like an aluminum? Ooh, the aluminum looks great though. I think the aluminum looks awesome. I'll leave this thing orange and we will go ahead and just make sure real quick that everything is in there. And we're going to go ahead and pick it up. Yep, we are good to go. All right, so we've got basically everything we need. We've got the brush cutter. We We've got the mower, we've got the chainsaw, and we should be good to go. So you are going to go ahead and get carried on over to the bed of the truck. I did not mean to... You know what? You know what? Nope. We're going to be very careful with you, and we're going to just very nicely place you in the bed of the truck and not really, uh, not really worry about you again. Yep, uh, yep there we go. And fasten it down, I think. Does that actually count as it being fastened down? It better. Here, hold on. Let's make sure that it counts as it being fastened down. Because if it doesn't count, that's going to be annoying. Let's see, is that the whole... Yep, that is the whole truck. Alright. You're going to go, like, right there. And then we're going to strap you down. That should be enough. I know it's sitting a little weird, but don't worry about the fact that it's sitting a little weird. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hook up to the trailer now. And, yo, I that was not... Nope. <laughs> nope. Can I not get in my truck now? Please. Oh. My. God. Apparently, the brush cutter... Uh, the brush cutter owns my entire existence now, apparently. Oh my, all right, brush cutter, you are, I'm, yep, I, I am, I have had it with you, you're going on the trailer, I am fed up with you, no, 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 yes, all right, stay there, now let me use my truck, good grief, I am fed up with you, freaking brush cutter, good god, all right, Let's turn you around and hook up to the trailer and put the mower on the trailer because I know that's going to be way simpler than apparently throwing a freaking uh, weed eater into the bed of a truck. That should not be hard, but for some reason, it is. All right, we're a little bit, a little bit off there on the hitch location, but weird thing. All right, so let's see. Go ahead and unfold. And down it goes. All right, now... We get to go ahead and put the mower on the trailer. So, boom. Here we go. All right, let's go and back you on up. Whoa. It's very sensitive. Like, as far as the whole zero turn element of it goes, it is very sensitive. Just got to get it lined up somewhat well. I do like how um, your character actually moves the control sticks correctly. All right, I'm thinking we'll put this dude right about here. And we'll try to put the um, the weed eater on the front of the trailer. So let's see. Uh, can we do... Well, I'll tell you what. We'll probably do a... Oh, that's weird. Huh. It's only letting me put the straps kind of like in front of and behind where this thing is. So with that, what I'll do is I'll probably just use the, uh, the in-truck in function to do that. And now... We're going to move your temperamental self back over here. You have literally been the most temperamental piece of equipment I think I've ever had to work with in this game. So you are going right there. Right there. And it's going to hover a little bit, but that's okay. All right. Now, let's see. There we go. Belts fastened and fold. All right, let's go ahead and get the ramps up. Ignore the... <laughs> Ignore the floating weed eater. It's fine. Don't worry about that. I mean, I would call this a pretty successful run down to the dealership, though. We got ourselves a mower. We got ourselves, like, a weed eater. We've got, like, a chainsaw. I I, uh, I threw that in the backseat uh, floorboard area 
So don't worry about that one. It's fine. It's all good. And let's go ahead and get back out on the road. Nobody's coming, though, so I'm going to go a little bit wide. Just a little bit. Man, this thing's got some, uh, this thing's got some awkward, like, steering return dynamics sometimes. I love how they have little rafts out there in the pond. It doesn't look like that pond is all that deep anyway, but people are still, like, taking rafts out there and everything. That's brilliant. We're definitely gonna have to see what this little market area is all about at some point. The market area is really, really cool. I feel like I've started a landscaping business, and I feel like if we legitimately wanted to, we totally could. Yo, is the train going by? That train is pretty freaking quick, though. I mean, I'm going, like, what, 30? And that train is way outpacing me. That train is going way faster than me. All right, let's go ahead and start hauling a little bit on the back road now that we're out of town. I love this area. It's freaking beautiful, dude. I love how you can see the little temporary gravel driveway that we built up there. All right, let's ease it on in, and we'll swing just a tad wide. We really don't need to swing a tad wide. The only reason I did was because I didn't want to risk, like, getting caught up in that sign. But what we're going to do now is we're going to start mowing a little bit of the perimeter and probably using the, uh, the weed eater on any areas that are, like, really close to trees before we end up chopping them down. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and undo the belts, and we'll unfold everything. Now, first things first, we gotta get the we gotta get this guy off. So we'll get this dude over here. I'm gonna put you away from the truck so we don't really have to worry about you because that thing is temperamental. Oh, we didn't put it down all the way. Yeah, we didn't let the process complete. No, there we go. You have to make sure it completes all the way, otherwise it gets mad and only completes halfway. Alright, now let's see what this thing can do. I think I'm going to mow a little perimeter around this area just to test it out. All right, so let's see. Selected work mode. Mow it. Now, let's see. Where is... Oh. So which adjusts your actual... Okay. Unfold. Or fold. Oh, I see. Unfold or fold. It folded up, but, like, it won't kind of refold. Odd. All right. There we go. Okay. So now we've got it on, and let's see what this thing can do. Bumping up the RPMs a little bit. My question is, will it chew through these, like, larger, like, you know, pieces of brush and weeds and everything? It, ah, uh, kind of, kind of not. Oh, easy. I really don't want to nick the truck. Running into the truck would not be a great way to start this off. I love how I'm mowing into the area that I'm going to keep mowing. That's, like... That's literally the worst way to mow. Don't mow that way. All right, I'm gonna cut a little bit of an area around this kind of like dirt parking spot. Oh, it, wow, it does not wanna, uh, wanna grab the larger like weeds and pieces of brush. Interesting. I'm gonna need to grab something a little bit more gnarly for that. What about if I go directly over? Nope. Wow, it is not even remotely interested. It is not even remotely interested. I'm going to also cut the edges of the driveway because I want this to be a little bit more cleared up. I wonder if the weed eater will actually do really anything as far as cleaning up the edges of the driveway or getting those larger pieces of brush out of the way. God, I love how I'm mowing in this thing at like 15 miles an hour. That would be way too fast uh, like in real life that would be so freaking fast to be mowing in real life jeez all right let's work our way back up the side of the driveway oh my god we're at 20 miles an hour this is so ridiculous maybe i got a little ahead of myself with the tuned engine the tuned engine in this thing is dumb dumb in a good way but jeez it's a little outside the realm of like I guess, practical application. All right, so let's see if we can... All right, turn the mower off, lift it back up, and I'm going to hop out of this thing, and then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to grab this weed eater, and I'm going to see if we can actually... All right, is this a... Oh, this is very awkward. All right, this is... So, it works like a mower... Oh, that's strange, but it only cuts grass. 
it doesn't cut the larger, like, the larger bushes and pieces of brush. That is odd. So I'm gonna need something else to cut these things. Or, well, will I? It just keeps knocking them over. It knocks them over, and then I think they just spring back up. I don't know if they despawn or if they spring back up. I'm very confused on that. I'm very, very, very confused on that. Let's see. Are you gonna be able to even chop these up, or is that just, like, about all it's got? That might be about all it's got. I might need to go for something a little bit more, I guess, well-equipped um, to deal with that. All right, you're gonna chill back there. And this guy over here, I think what we'll probably do is we'll continue to mow uh, the area with it. But we're gonna need to figure out a solution to those bushes because this is not having them. It's not having them at all. We cut a little perimeter, but even as you can see over here on the driveway, like, the perimeter is there, but all of these giant, like pieces of brush and weeds and stuff are still there and neither the mower or the weed eater would even like touch them so we're gonna have to find a new approach to that and we're also gonna have to put some kind of building or living solution on this piece of land because I'm kind of tired of living in uh, hotels in this area but with that being said I hope you all enjoyed this episode of the RP and if you did let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below hit the like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys next time talk to y'all later